It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. The ADL decided to accuse Steam of harvesting white supremacy on their service. And of course, the whole entire argument that they made on their Twitter page was just, you know, ridiculous. Steam, the largest and most important online store for PC gamers, offer white supremacists a new outlet for their hateful rhetoric and call for violence. More on Steam's role as a host for this dangerous ideology in our latest report. Honestly, this is not the first time I've seen the ADL on my channel go after a stupid crap because on my channel I talked about how basically the ADL believes that the OK symbol is a sign for white supremacists. Yes, they literally think that saying OK is basically a sign for white supremacists. Also, besides this whole entire OK sign nonsense, the ADL also went at their freaking Pepe the Frog. Yes, freaking Pepe the Frog. They also went against like the anti anti fog flag and also they actually think that the triangle from Legend of Zelda is actually a white supremacist sign. When they call stuff like Pepe the Frog a white supremacist symbol, when they say that the freaking OK symbol is a white supremacist symbol, when they state that going against Antifa is a white supremacist symbol, how am I, as a regular Joe on the streets, supposed to take this kind of organization seriously? This is not a game how Steam harbors extremists. Yeah, 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 that's like a very funny title. Yeah, I'm totally laughing right now. That is like hilarious. On June the 10th, 2019, authorities in Northern California arrest Ross Farsa 23 on state felony criminal threats and weapon charges. Oh yes, I can see where this is going. Essentially what they're doing right now. They're picking like an extremist that used the service and show it as evidence that Steam actually support these sort of white supremacist ideas. And so, let's continue on with this whole entire, like, report. The complaint, the criminal complaint, excuse me. Oh my god, I cannot talk right now. I cannot understand why I cannot talk right now. The criminal complaint states that Farsa, using the handle Adolf Hitler 6 million repeatedly posted online stress against high value Jew Jewish targets and police officers. Praise the Christchurch mass shooter as a hero and boasts of violent plans. Want to see a mass shooting with a body count of over 30 subhumans. I find it very curious and also bizarre of all the millions and millions and millions of services out there that of course, this organization singles out Steam because basically every last service at some point or another, whether they don't really know about it or not, actually probably had like a white supremacist using their service. Of course, everybody uses like Netflix. Everybody uses Amazon. Everybody uses like these video services or like the shopping sites to buy stuff. And so basically, probably at some point, some white supremacists also use those sites as well. So I'm kind of curious, just what is the end game for this whole entire argument? Like basically, every single service at some point has some sort of white supremacist using their service. Should we as a society shut down every single service that we have online and also in person just because some potential white supremacists might also use it? That, my friends, sounds like a very bad economic plan. It's like saying, I drink milk, she drank milk, a white supremacist drank milk, therefore, milk must be white supremacist. Wait a second, I actually made a video about that. Oh my god, like, every single time I talk about this sort of nonsense on my channel, like, I almost tend to forget, like, there's actually people who think that way, so... 
Let's continue on with the article. Steam, the largest and most important online store for PC gamers with over 4 billion in revenue in 2017, has recently gained popularity among white supremacists for being a platform like Gab and Telegram where they can openly express their ideology and calls for violence. Steam is not the only service that actually has bad people playing PC games. Like, basically every single service have their bad user. Like I said before, there's people on Netflix that's really popular, of course. There's people on Amazon people on these different shopping sites and video service that you use as well. So practically like there's like thousands and possibly thousands of cases of really bad people also using the services. Like basically when it comes down to the dollar, like companies don't really care. They just want to get the money from people to use their service. And so naturally it's entirely possible that these bad people also use the same services that you do. It doesn't mean we have to close down every single last service that someone used just because a white supremacist also used that service. Not to mention there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ways for you not to get contact with that kind of ideology. For example, you could actually block people online, you could also mute their microphone, or sometimes you can also, you know, not join a game and actually quit the game. And also, like, pretty much all services have these sort of bad people. So it's not just Steam, it's basically everybody else that also have, of course, these sort of, you know, people. And not to mention, like, of course, like, how can you just single out these sort of, you know, people on this particular service, but not single out other people on other services, just... Wow. Not to mention, like, services like Steam actually has community guidelines, and so basically, it's entirely up to the company to enforce those kind of guidelines. Like, basically, Steam is not the only kind of service, like, bad people use. Like, bad people use every single last service, and so the only way that companies can take control of that is to have like some sort of community guidelines to actually enforce against those sort of bad people. In a sample of platform users, we were able to identify nearly 200 unique Steam accounts that enable or propagate Nazi and or white supremacist ideology. The majority's profile traffic and emblazoned white supremacist belief, evidence in their screen name, bio descriptions, profile pictures, and other comments. Others incorporated their profile Nazi imagery such as SS balls and Nazi deaf heads, glorified predominant Nazi figures, and fantasized about the fourth rank. Honestly, I personally believe that some of these people describing that kind of description are just probably trolls or just using edgy humor. Maybe it's me, like probably there are some people in that list that probably are in fact legit white supremacists, but I think some of these people are probably just trolling them, but uh, again, let's continue on. And a minority of the profile display deeply anti-Semitic elements and or embrace violence against Jews, including terms such as gas to Jews and smash Jews scum. The final category includes a subset of users who post memes including variations of Pepe the Frog. <laughs> Pepe the Frog, oh my god. So, basically, if you post Pepe the Frog, that's evidence of you saying white supremacist ideology. Just, oh my god. Have we as a society actually sink this low to think that a cartoon frog is actually some sort of white supremacist symbol? Look guys, I do believe that there are some people, yes, who actually believe this kind of stuff, but I think some of the time, obviously, it's not actually real. I think people are just saying this kind of stuff for edgy humor, to be edgy, to be, you know, really, really strange. But overall, I honestly do not believe, like, for a second, that they had to single out, like, this particular service of all the other services out there for gaming. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.